this right here? Yeah. We just got through TSA and I've got mom in a wheelchair. She just had knee replacement surgery. So we're walking to our gate now. And then when we get to the gate, the nerves will really kick in. I don't care about the scene. I don't care about the location. Why the man is not a me. But you wherever I go, baby. I just need you by my side. Yeah. That's until the day I die. Ever since you found me, we the only thing I see. Forever and a day is you and me. And they can't replicate this unity. No pressure. I can see I'm watching and they try to do better. But you one in a million, you ain't average. Girl, I promise I'ma have you living lavish. Take a trip, girl, we're about to vanish. I'll go anywhere, anywhere. Just as long as you with me. Cause girl, I know that you get me. So I'll go anywhere. Looking at us, cause I know they wish they had it, and they know we're doing damage to the game. I don't care about the stereotype, I can never do a mono with a stereotype. I'm talking left, right, link, I'm talking left hand ring, I'm talking this right here forever. We ain't here just for the summer. Always so intense, we ain't never had to come up. Young right now, but we gon' watch the numbers run up. So, because of mom's knee surgery, we got to board first, and I actually booked two seats for myself. Um, usually I would have Robert or Romulus next to me and I can take up some of their seat, which isn't fair, but it's okay. So I just wanted to make sure that we were comfortable. This flight actually has a decent leg room, which I'm surprised of, or maybe I've lost enough weight that my kneecaps aren't pressing into the seat in front of me. I don't know. <laughs> Should be a short flight though. Okay, we're in Washington DC, done with the first flight. And the only thing I've really been dealing with is feeling a little weak and hungry because I've been fasting since 10 p.m. last night. So just trying to chug the water right now. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but we're on the second flight from Washington DC to San Diego. And thankfully mom and I get to sit together on this one. We have a whole row of three. Um, I purchased the three tickets and this flight's about five hours so we'll be landing in San Diego where I will meet up with the driver for a summer meet. So we just made it to San Diego and I was going to record in the terminal but it was a mess in there. We also forgot that this is Comic Con time so it's extra crazy here today. 
Um, right now, I'm waiting on the van from a slimmer me to come pick us up, and then we'll be headed to Tijuana. Me and my mom. Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you so much. Did I just get in the back? So this is the van they pick you up at. They, this is the van they pick you up in at the airport. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Now we will make the trek to Tijuana. So we just arrived to the surgery center and I'm going in to do my pre-op and I'll take you along with me. I am filling out the intake paperwork now and then we are going to be staying here at the hospital tonight instead of the hotel like we have planned and they're going to see if they can squeeze me in for some of the dental work I wanted to get done while I was here also. So I got to get all this filled out first. I am here in the surgery center and I'm going to give you a quick room tour. They decided to go ahead and have us at the hospital instead of the hotel because my surgery is going to be early. So I have a hospital bed, mom has a fancy recliner, all the hospital tech that they would need. We have a cabinet here with storage and a TV and a safe, sliding pocket door and then the bathroom. And by the way, it smells super clean. Um, wow, this is fancy. Um, yes, so we have a very nice bathroom. State of the art, I would say. And I'm just gonna be real. I'm extremely nervous to the point that my blood pressure is elevated. So I just took Clonopin to help me calm down a little bit and they're going to monitor my blood pressure. Um, I expected this. I've had two hours of sleep. I've been fasting since last night and any kind of procedures make me nervous because I'm terrified that something's going to happen to me. <laughs> um, so pretty much as far as I know all good to have surgery tomorrow. I weighed here at the surgery center and my weight pre-surgery is 406 and you all know that I started at 472 so that is a lot of hard work leading up to this and as nervous as I am about this I'm telling myself you can be nervous but do it anyways because I just want a better life for myself and my family so that's a lot to say. I'm here at the hospital and tomorrow morning I'll be having surgery. Um, this afternoon, after I've calmed down and got settled in, I'm gonna go to the dentist, which is a part of the same company, and have a deep cleaning and a whitening. Um, and then I'll be back here for the night so we can relax as much as possible before surgery. Well, I might not include this in the vlog, but I just wanted to record that I'm 
nervous. <laughs> Um, let me show you, because we're in the hospital and not in the hotel, they brought us up broth and um, Gatorade and things. Let me show you what they brought us. So they brought us two big bowls of broth from the restaurant next door. This is a um, zero sugar jello. This is full sugar Gatorade. Um, but they told me to drink that specifically and then water and all of this is unlimited until midnight tonight I was told that in the morning I will be woken up and I will take a shower and then I will put on my robe and then I will wait for surgery it'll happen very early they um, gave me medicine to take prior to surgery and um, they're gonna take good care of me they're very confident and the surgery center is really nice, top notch. Everybody here has been really nice and I'm just ready to be on the other side of it. I don't know how much vlogging I will do tomorrow. <clears throat> I might have my mom follow me around while I do some laps in the hallway. And I'll, I'd like for it to have you record me in here even, even if I'm loopy. <laughs> um, I do anticipate a lot of gas pain tomorrow. I've had two laparoscopic surgeries before so I'm well aware of what that feels like I just hope that that's the only thing I have to deal with um, and then you know it's recovery from there I the lighting is probably horrendous but I wanted to let you all know that I had my pre-surgery shower with the um, sponge they gave me that had the surgery soap on it. Um, I'm in my surgery gown. I'll be taking my surgery medicine in about 30 minutes and then I'm just waiting for them to take me back for surgery. Um, my blood pressure did come down after taking clonopin. I knew it was just anxiety related. Um, they're still going to monitor it very closely but otherwise I'm in the all clear for surgery and the next time you see me, I should be on the other side of surgery and in the recovery room. So all in all, um, great experience so far. Everybody's been so nice. And the only negative thing I would have to say at all is that the mattress on this bed is a little thin. So I, had, I have really large hips and so my hips were a little bit numb last night while I was sleeping, but it's okay. I'll be in my bed soon and I don't think I've ever stayed in a hospital bed that was comfortable. You know, the beds are nice and wide. Um, all the amenities are, you know, okay for plus size people. Um, and when I went to the dentist yesterday, they came and picked me up and chauffeured me to the dentist, walked me all the way up to the dentist, made sure that I was checked in at the dentist and then came up to get us and brought us all the way back up to the hospital. So it's just been really nice um, luxury level of service. Um, and I feel really good about my decision. I'm nervous, of course. I'd be crazy if I wasn't. But I just feel like this is what's right for me. Um, I got to look at my post-op diet last night. And uh, I actually took time to look through it. And it seems like the diet that I'm going to have to follow or the, the eating habits, not so much diet that I have to follow after surgery, is very doable. And then the lifelong habits that I have to create are also very doable. So I'm feeling really good about it. I'm just ready to be back home in my bed Saturday night. Okay, I just met with the anesthesiologist and my surgeon, Dr. Andrade. They asked me to put on my compression socks and they're coming back to get my IV started um, and start medication. I should be in surgery in just a few minutes and I will have my mom um, record me with an update as soon as I'm out and I will be on the process to healing.
How you doing, baby? You okay? So I'm out of surgery. I've been out for what, three hours? I've walked up and down the hallway three times already. I'm able to eat ice chips only, um, which I hear is different depending on your doctor. Some people here are not even able to eat ice chips yet. I'm very thankful that I can have ice chips though. Um, I feel like I need something like Gatorade or broth or something, but I can't have that until tomorrow. So I'll be fine. Um, honestly, my pain is minimal. It was worse when I first got out, but now it's just getting used to the fact that I just had surgery more than anything. And um, what time is it here? Do you know? 6.22. It's 6.22 here, and we're in... Tijuana of course so it's like 9 22 back home I will probably try to turn on some comfort TV and then fall asleep soon um, I feel pretty good when I, when I first woke up <clears throat> I kind of felt that my tube was still in my throat the um, whatever the tube that they put in and that freaked me out a little bit, but once they took it out and my throat felt better, um, I felt much better. They had me up and walking almost immediately. The surgery was about 30 minutes long. The doctor said everything was good. I haven't talked to the doctor yet, but the doctor told the nurses and everybody that everything was good. Um, really, super high standard of care. I've been so impressed with everything so far and uh, no complaints right now. I'm just still kind of tripping out that I did this, you know, um, but I'm very glad that I did and ready for this new lifestyle to begin. So I'm going to sleep tonight and then I'll take you with me to get my leak test in the morning. I'm at the recovery house. Everybody's going to their rooms. And this is my room. There is a TV, a little um, drawer system, air conditioner, which is great, a recovery bed, a chair that pulls out into a couch, a desk, which I doubt I'll be using, and a little wardrobe. So. So when we first got to the recovery house, I did a little quick walk through um, on my phone. This is a huge house. There's what, eight rooms in this house and it's super clean. Um, everything we need is here. I just didn't want to show too much of it because there's seven other groups of people here. So I wanted to respect their privacy, but um, I just got the all clear from all the different doctors. There was a slew of people that came through, um, the psychologist, the sports medicine, the general practitioner who spoke with the surgeon, and I got my blue folder of all clear papers. So that's really reassuring. I'm drinking my broth and I have some Gatorade and I have some um, jello that I'm not sure that I'm gonna eat just because it's um, a weird texture. Um, and then once I get home, it's once I get home, right, that my week one diet starts? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 
that'll be nice. I'll be able to do protein shakes again. Um, you know, the sugar-free ice popsicles and sugar-free jello and broth, of course. And that'll last for a week. So definitely looking forward to being home in my bed. I know that being at home presents its own challenges because I don't have the equipment of a hospital. Um, even in the recovery house here, I'm still connected via IV and I have someone coming to check my vitals and make sure I take my medicine. So it's just um, getting on a new schedule when I get back, but at least I'll be doing that in my bed. <laughs> so overall, everything's been great so far. Just a quick plane ride tomorrow, quick as in five hours, and I will be home. Okay, so we made it to our gate, although we are three hours early, and we're going to have to be here until the flight, um, but that's okay because we just needed to pad in time to get across the border. It was actually a pretty easy process. The van that we were in had all the patients that were flying out today. We all had surgery on the same day. They collected all of our passports, or if you didn't have a passport, they collected birth certificate and driver's license. And then we got to take the medical line through the border, which was so much faster. Um, it looked like people had been sitting in line for several hours, and our driver said it usually takes about three, three hours to get across the border. So it took us, what, 20 minutes, if that, and that's just because of how long the drive was. Um, the Border Patrol officer came around to the side, would pull out a passport and look at the person's face and read the name and then give them back their passport. It was really easy. Then we got to San Diego Airport and because I had already pre-booked a wheelchair for both mom and myself, because um, mom had a knee surgery, knee replacement, five-ish weeks ago, um, we actually got through the airport super fast too. So. We're just kind of here waiting now, and then I get to get on a plane and see my boys in like five hours. Well, I have to wait for three hours and then get on a plane for five hours, and then I'll see my boys. <laughs> but yeah, I feel really good about the whole thing. I'm healing pretty well, I believe. I can definitely tell that I still have gas around my stomach. Um, you could even see it in the x-ray, and I'm still taking it very slow, little tiny sips of things. Um, my doctor told me to prioritize liquids with electrolytes for the first few weeks and then even after that it's better to get electrolytes um, so I've been doing the Powerade drink mix in my water Powerade Zero and I've also got some tea bags that have um, chicken uh, broth powder and them so on the airplane when they're passing out drinks I can ask for hot water and have some chicken broth so I tried to cover all the bases um, but overall I feel pretty good about it and I'm ready to get on this plane and go home um, one of the ladies husbands after we got out of the border and we were in San Diego said well all y'all left your stomachs in Mexico <laughs> I just thought it was pretty funny um, but okay, I will see you in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna follow this journey, uh, make sure that you subscribe and like this video and hit the notification bell to know when the next one comes out. And I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Have you considered this surgery? Have you had this surgery? Um, what are your thoughts? And uh, let's communicate. Have a great day. Take my eye off you. Can't take my eye off you. Dim guy. Don't got nothing on you. Don't got nothing on you. My heart is ready for something I have been had in a long time. True love crime. I hope you know that it may hurt for a while. Let's slow down, slow down. I can see behind that broken smile. Nice, sweet, smooth.